Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta and today my little video will be on the items list in QuickBooks Desktop. As you can see we're still in the Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply Sample file. I'm using QuickBooks Account at Desktop 2019 which if you are using most recent year's versions and this still will apply. So there's basically two ways you can get to the items list. The first way is to go under the list here on the menu bar and then click on items list. But if you have the home page open, you can go over here to the company area and click on items and services and that'll take you right to it. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's several ways that you can sort this list. It's a lot more robust than the ones in QuickBooks Online, which by the way is called the products and services list. So basically those are basically similar lists but in desktop there's a lot more you can do first of all you can click on account headings to sort by account or type or description or name you can add and arrange columns by right clicking on one of the column your headings going down here to customize columns and I have to drag this for my first screen since I'm having two screens that I'm working with you can rearrange these in any kind of order. You can add, you can delete. And just so you'll see earlier, I added the cost of goods sold account. It's not default on this list when you first set up your account. You have to actually add it from over here. But it's real important that you do that. And you want to add it to next to your account column. So that way, when you do that, you'll have both of them together. And it's going to be real important in just a minute when you see, because I'm going to go ahead and sort on this list. And what this does is when you have both of these columns together, you can see which items are set up as double sided. And I'll show you this landscape design one as an example of that. I'm going to right click on there and I'm going to open the edit menu so that way you can see how this is set up. So for this particular item, not only can we attach an expense or cost of goods sold account, we can also uh, track the income account. You can set up a cost for that particular item and also the sales price because what that will do is it'll allow you to use this when you're invoicing, doing sales receipts, but also when you're doing purchase orders, estimates, uh, checks, or anything like that where you're actually purchasing uh, this or, or using a subcontractor like in this service. You can also do a preferred vendor for this. So like if you have a preferred subcontractor that you're using, you can actually set that up in there. So anyway, it's real helpful to do that. And where you can see where any of these are missing, then that means you may have to go in and add or edit those. So hopefully this has helped you today. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel as well as share it with others. I am adding on average one video per week, including the occasional motivational video. I would love nothing more than to help you maximize your usage of QuickBooks desktop and online. My email is below as well as the number where you can text me for more information and to set up an initial consult. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.